Hey guys, just with Texas Bushcraft, uh, out here today, flying past this river, and today we're going to be talking about the uses of the black willow. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about today about the black willow will be its uh, medicinal uses. The uh, number one medicinal use is actually pain relief, similar to aspirin. It actually contains uh, one of the base ingredients of aspirin in it, or vice versa if you like to look at it like that. It contains it pretty much throughout the tree, but it's mainly in its bark, uh, leaves, and smaller twigs. So there's a few ways that you can go about getting this, this uh, property from the tree. The easiest way is just to break off a small twig, and you can actually just run your hand along it if you want to do it like that. You know, ball it up throw it in your mouth and uh, grind it into a paste and then just use that paste as like a topical treatment on a on a wound or something like that. It'll actually uh, create some pain relief in that way. You can actually use it for headaches the same way. You can uh, chew it up, keep it in your mouth and swallow the uh, the oils and the juices that come out of it. Now I will warn you, it does not taste very good. It's not a very pleasant taste. But that's uh, one of the easiest ways to get it out. There's also a couple other ways. And this, these um, methods are, are will carry on to the next topic that I, or the next medicinal use that I talk about. There's the the paste, the paste that you can, uh, or the salve if you would like to call it that, that you can use just by grinding it up in your teeth. There's also a decoction. What you do is uh, same thing: break off uh, the smaller twigs. You don't even have to really crush it up if you don't want, but it, it, it'd be the, it'll produce the the most amount of the the salicylic acid, the oils, is, that'll help you. Uh, break it off, crush it up, put it in a, a cup of water, maybe fill up the cup with uh, with the, the black willow, the branches, or the, the bark, the twigs and leaves. Fill it up, pour water in it, and start boiling it. And what that'll do is it'll release the oils, and you can actually just, you know, take out the rest. If you'd like, you can actually let it cool down and strain off the, the, uh, the oils on top and uh, just have the oils themselves. Or you could actually drink it almost like a tea. But, uh, and then there's also a, a tincture, which is you steep, if, well, maybe not steep is the correct word, but you get the same parts of the plant. Uh, you can put it in a jar or something similar to that with a closed lid, and inside of it you have the, the black willow, and uh, mixed in with that is uh, alcohol. You can use Everclear, any any type of uh, alcohol that's uh, for consumption. Of course you can use rubbing alcohol or anything like that. It's part of the gunshot. Uh, but you can just let it uh, sit in that for a couple weeks and um, you can it'll be the same process before. You can just take a, a small drink of it. I'm sure you could use it topically as well but that's probably probably wouldn't be the best application with a tincture or even a uh, a decoction. So that's that's the number one uh, medicinal use for this plant is pain relief. And number two is actually an astringent. This uh, plant actually actually acts as a uh, it'll help your capillaries um, constrict to uh, to uh, lower the blood flow. And it's the same the same uh, way, but I think a paste would probably work better for that. Maybe a salve, like I was saying. The same same method. You could even grind it up in a in a in a rock if you'd like to do it that way. And so those are a couple of the medicinal uses. Uh, there's there's other ones that have been uh, notated in in history. The uh, uh, Native Americans would use it as uh, a cure for diarrhea or even an aphrodisiac. I've read, but those don't really have a much scientific uh, proof or evidence showing that those actually work for that. So. I'm just going to stick with uh, what we already know, which is the astringent to help your to help constrict your capillaries uh, to help with bleeding, as well as pain relief. And the pain relief is actually this is uh, one of the best uh, natural pain reliefs that there are. So if you get a headache or anything like that, chew up a little bit of it, swallow the juices, spit out the leaves, and uh, you should be good to go after that. All right, so we've talked about the medicinal uses of the black willow. Let's talk about some of the other uh, practical uses for the willow. As you can see here, one of the characteristics of willow, especially when they're young like this, is they grow really, really straight. So with these limbs here, these smaller limbs, you can actually, matter of fact, I'll just cut this off to show you. There's tons of this around. 
So you can see there that's actually quite straight. You can pull off these uh, these smaller twigs here. And it would actually make a really nice arrow shaft. It's a little thin in this area. Another characteristic of the black willow is that it's a really soft wood. It makes for really good uh, for friction fires. And because the limbs are grow so straight, you can actually use them for a hand drill really easily. So let's go over some of the things that we've talked about. Um, the two medicinal uses that we talked about is a pain relief that has uh, one of the base components of aspirin in it as well and it, it's an astringent meaning that it restricts the capillaries and uh, controls blood flow and wing, wound. The limbs grow very straight making for great arrow shafts as well as hand drill spindles and the wood's very soft adding to the uh, friction fire making it easier to start a fire with the wood. And it releases the, the small the, the fluffy seeds that you'll see during the spring and uh, it makes for a really good tinder. It's almost uh, like a spider web uh, consistency, but it makes for really good tinder if you got enough of it. So that's some of the uses of the black willow. I'm sure there's a few out there that I've missed, but I'm Jesse with Texas Bushcraft. I really appreciate you, you guys watching. Make sure to uh, check out the forum and the, fa the Facebook as well as our website, and I'll see you.